Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell me what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my... Oh, if only old kids was like him. Many lovely things. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. Don't insult me anymore! Come back to gloat, have ya? You? You've got some nerve. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! Good lad. 
Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Just gonna stand there like a lemon. But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine, have your stupid good deed then. Excellent, thanks lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. You stupid little idiot. Once. I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Now he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Why are you playing with baby toys? It hurts! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. your stuffing. Keep it up, lad. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds.
Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? setting a splendid example there. Keep it up. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened. But I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <gasps> It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone.
We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is May. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! yourself from your pillow, I see. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Ah, now that's more like it. 
When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Use your stick. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river, but that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you 
could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Every time. I'll hit you next time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got her training with some fan boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holes-barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, Meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Now, oh, and about your melee performance? Very good, lad. Keep fighting like that and you'll go far. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Are you ready for your archery training? Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. fair against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bow string, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Get your bow out. Good shooting. Plenty of power. 
Lovely. Plenty of power. Lovely. A good strike. Excellent hit. Keep them coming. Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test and I'll be most impressed. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Any apprentices want to practice melee combat? There's just the will left to learn. It's time to learn about real powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with money. All right, let's see what you've got. That's it. See how many it would hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one in the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpower depletes your mana. And once you use it, it takes time to replenish. Very well. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Any apprentices want to practice melee combat? Come on, let's hunt beetles. I'll follow you into the woods. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the Guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt.
We did it! Did you see the look on their faces? Wait till the Guildmaster hears about this. Any apprentices want to practice melee combat? Training any nice young men. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years the guild was his home, his school and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the Guild Seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the Guild Woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test, then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Come on! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Attack me! Go on, fight me! You're getting better at this. A good strike. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. 
It's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skill. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. First, you must select the area you wish to advance in. Strength, skill or will. Notice your experience pools in the lower left portion of the screen. You acquire general experience by collecting experience orbs and you automatically acquire strength, skill and will experience by using your abilities in those areas. Ah, you've chosen strength. You could be a great warrior. You can use your experience from melee combat to improve your physique, health or toughness. Choose one now. Physique allows you to do more damage in melee combat and to carry heavier weapons. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Check the guild for more quests. Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Wasps are attacking the picnic area! Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! You smell like rotting rat corpses! Hey! Over here! You little snake! Hey, over here! Paper rags. It's this way. It's this way. Please, you've got to save my friends. for saving me. I'm going to tell everyone about you. You saved my life. Thank you so much. Wait till everyone hears about this. Wasp 
win again. You've received a new quest card. Chicken chaser. Do you chase chickens? Hello there again. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Ah, you've chosen Will. You could now choose the spell you wish to learn. Notice your experience pools going down. You will always use your will experience first. But if this runs out, you can use general health increases the amount of damage you can take. Somehow, anything will do. Use your imagination. Have you seen... Look at this filthy pile of rags. He really expects people to give him gold. Well, if you want, I'll tell you something that will really annoy you. We have some rules around here that you need to know about. 
Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Ah, we'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Over here. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes, I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Check the guild for more quests. You don't look like don't no... do anything illegal. You're you sure to find something to suit you? to me. You know, sound waves can make your head spin into the sun. I've seen it happen, man. If only I hadn't lost my mushroom of truth in the guild, I'd be able to show you. Ah. going to be doing some work down at Orchard Farm, are you? I knew that was your two calling. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. Maybe I should pick it up. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later, farm boy. Ah! <laughs> 
right. Oh, thank Avo, you're here. I thought no one would answer our guild request. I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. They must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. There must be them now. I better go inside and look after my wife. She's terrified. It's killing time. <laughs> Let's go! Some more bandits are approaching! Watch out! Bandit reinforcements are on the way! So, you've learned some new moves, have you? Well, you're not the only one. I hope you've learned how to flourish, because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Go on, try to hit me with a flourish. So you can do it. You beat me again! I suppose this quest is yours then. But you can't stay lucky forever, farm boy. We're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. You did it! I can't tell you how grateful we are! Someone should be round Ooh. to pick up the boxes soon, so we shouldn't have any more problems. Can't see why there's been so much fuss about those stones. Been glad to see the back of them myself. Must be worth plenty of money to someone, though. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. You're now renowned enough to use the sneer expression.
You have reached unsung status. Check the guild for more quests. I've been hearing that some traders need help. Take the quest card to find out more. Magic power increases your capacity for storing mana. Ah, you've chosen skill. You could be an expert. Speed makes you quicker in both ranged and melee combat. Toughness makes you more resistant to damage. Chicken chaser? Do you chase chickens? Oh. Oh. Uh, but farmers have had stuff stolen. Weird the voices they were. Oh. oh, I'm looking for someone to take me to Orchard Farm. I'll pay you if you helps me. It can be dangerous for traders round here. Here's the deal, see? You get a quarter of the fee now, and the rest when we get there in one piece. Just talk to me again if you decide to escort me. I'll wait here until then. Oh, you'll take me to Orchard Farm? Excellent! Use your follow expression to start our journey. When we get to a new region, I'll let you know if we're going the right way. If you want me to stop, just use your wait expression. Oh, and before I forget, here's that advance on your fee. You can have the rest when we arrive safely, all right? But try not to go too fast, because I might not be able to keep up with you. Follow. Lead the way, hero. You feeling okay? Man, I think fairies have burrowed their way into my gums. So you're the chicken chaser, are you? Hang on, man. No, no, no. I'm running out of breath. Yes, we're definitely heading. I'm 
got to shop you good. <laughs> 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 as you can. Well, we're here. And not a scratch on me. Well, you've earned this gold. Oh, and here's a bonus for the hard work. Ah, there you are. About time you showed up. I was going to start without you. I was just telling your friend here, the whole orchard's overrun with hobs. I could get rid of them myself, but it might be more fun like this. Whoever kills the most hobs gets the trophy, right? I don't care how you do it, just stick them before they drink all my scrumpy. The little sods cracked open my crate down by the river at the far end of the path. Guess that's where we should go. Race you there. Those disgusting little beasts. Please exterminate them all. Another one. 
A lesson. They'll think twice before they try stealing from me again. Not bad. Don't think it'll be easy next time, though. I suppose the trophy is yours, then. For now. I've had enough of this. Maybe the guild has something more interesting for me. We'd better make a move now and check on the damage. found your first treasure clue. Rumors abound that an item of value lies hidden somewhere. And there are six of them in all. serve you. place.
pleased to serve you. the children out of the guild early these days. <laughs> You're not going to start chanting my name with the rest of these simpletons, are you? Honestly, you complete a quest, start showing your trophy, and next thing you know, you can't get a moment's peace. I mean, just listen to them. Yeah. At least you don't have to worry about high renown and being followed everywhere. Now, move aside, will you? I don't need you crowding me too. Here, chuck us over a beer, would you? Oh, chickens, chickens, run! Kali's gates around the world are activated once you visit their location. Once activated, you can travel. Chicken chaser. Do you chase chickens? finished.
knows that. as an ornament. Either way suits us. I can't smell any gold on ya. Not enough any else. You better go get hold of some, haven't ya? I still don't see no gold. Hero, your 
Indeed, you, sir. I'm pleased to serve you. Dark woods a dangerous place, hero. You gotta respect that, haven't you? Combat multiplier that
Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? You. The sooner we put this forest behind us, the better. There are unnatural things out there. Lead the way! In Darkwood, you will find the Chapel of Scorn. Please, the day it is there, they will let evil into your soul. For dead. Please, let me come with you. We can't let him follow. He's infected. He'll be eating our guts before we know it. We have sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. This isn't a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I can pay well, and there won't be any trouble. Thank you, hero. I'm very grateful. Coming! If you request, my gut meet their challenge. job if there isn't. Ugh! <sighs> 
can't be very far now. Right behind you! Oh. I'm right with you. I've never liked that stone. There's something strange about it. There's one in Greenwood, too. Camp. I suppose we can wait here if you have other things to do. Yes, we can rest and stock up on supplies. What's it to be? I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. How are you doing? I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. Business? Not too bad. I'm going to buy a field next week. Should be some serious money there. How can I help? We think we can do a special offer for you, sir. How can I help? Play, play, Don. We're not disappointed here. This is the premier clothing store. Will you stop looking at me? I'm not going to turn. I'm with you. 
with you. away from me. I'm sure we'll be there in no time. I know the way from here. Follow me. Follow Not me. Much
fantastic! We're here! I knew you could do it! Ah, there you are. We've been expecting you. Maze seeks an audience with you again. This is it. You will find him in Oakvale Tavern. Yes, thank it you seems so rather urgent. You've received a new quest card. Chicken chase will be the law. Chase chickens. <laughs> I'm pleased to serve you. I think Maze wants to see you. He's in the tavern at Oak. Are you looking for blue mushrooms? Then you've come to the right place. Pretty popular items, I can tell you. I've only got one left now. Sold one to a trader near the guild, and then the other two. Let me think. Oh, yes. One went to a rather miserable woman, likes to hang around the picnic area. The other went to a fellow who said he was throwing a party in the guild woods. So, are you interested? Demand is high, supply is low, so I can't take anything less than 1,500 gold. Enjoy, my good man. What can I do for you? Can I interest no. you in something? Good day. Can I help? Can I help? I wonder what he's doing. Have a nice day, won't <laughs> Great to see you again. Bye. Over here. Chicken chaser. Hello there. I'm pleased to serve you. Looking for you. 
He's in the tavern. nothing more of your sister and there's little else I can do there is hope yet though a blind seeress lives among twin blades bandit clan she may be able to tell you about your sister the seeress stands next to the bandit king himself and it's no coincidence the bandits have been doing so well lately have you heard of twin blade he was a hero once. Yes, giant of a man. He had little patience for the guild, though. He left and brought together a dozen bandit factions. I always suspected he was behind the attack on your home. This could be your chance for revenge. The camp can't be far from here. The village is often under attack. I've left a quest card at the guild with the details. Beam. Looks fine. Check the guild for more quests. Yeah. I like the look of that getup. Why? I often stand out here and look out to sea. My dear husband was lost to the waters years ago. He went on a fishing expedition and never came back. I haven't given up hope of seeing him again one day. Busy, are you? You must find the bandit camp. Hello again. You'll need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen.
stern. No. What did the idiot do this time? He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Uh, it was a week before he could get back into the camp. Yeah. You can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. If you ask me, old twin blades getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's got into him. Hey, who's that?
a scary laugh expression. You have reached a familiar status. Run! Oh, I'm nervous about this. to me. Someone with real teeth, you are f Let's get with the violence in. When you don't need me no more, let me know. Move him! Oh, well, good luck. Oh, yeah. I think we can... 
can do a special offer for you, sir. The traders say the bandits are led by a mystical CRS woman. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. There are more bandits around these days. I'm pleased to serve you. Yesterday, I saw Twin Blade, the leader of the bandits. Kill them all! How may I help you today? I've uh, heard you might be interested in procuring a camp pass. Well, I can get you one, but it'll cost you a thousand gold. Hmm, you mean... Bring it on! Wanna practice it somewhere else? Excellent choice, my friend. Excellent choice. If you don't have a pass, looks like a valid pass to me. And you go. Let him through! transaction in these arduous times. I'll slit their ears off the buggers. Chickiest chicken chaser, whoever chased a chicken. Chaser. That's just criminal. 
Bring it on! Things are all right. Chicken oh. chaser. Yeah. Hey. So, ladies, looking forward to Twin Blades Entertainment? Come to look at Twin Blades Entertainment? Ain't they just lovely? <laughs> Gonna be a fun party, all right? The guard has the key. Get it off him. All right, you've had your look. And I've got the only key, so you ain't getting anything else. Kill them all! Come to the slaughter! have escaped! Grab them before they get away! Well done. The gate is open. You can go to Twin Blades area now. Go through the gate into Twin Blades area. I've been waiting for you. Stand back, lads! Twin Blade wants a word with this little hero! You're made of.
Her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare, and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twinblade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan. But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. For this was her place in the world now. I've seen so many things. So much killing. So much dying. I've seen you, little brother. In a ring of sand and blood. An arena full of secrets. And I've seen the choice you'll have to make one day between the darkness and the light. Teresa! I'm sorry, Twinblade. Your path is alone now. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, I have a present for you. For all the birthdays I've missed. A power that runs in our family. He finds you when you're sleeping and when the day light It, or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. I'm no one's king anymore.
you. Ah, oh, James is my grandson. You have to find him. He's the only relative I have left. Such a sweet, helpful boy. I don't know how I'd manage without him. I knew this would happen. He's gone back to those caves. I just know. He got quite a scare of the things he saw down there last time. I can tell you. But he did bring back some gold. Oh, and he found something else while he was there. I don't know what it's for, but it might be useful. Here. Please find him. I don't know what I would do if anything happened to him. Somebody get me out of here! Searching the caves for treasure. Legends say it's full of their stuff. Well protected, too. They caught us and stuck us in cages. Been taking us away one by one ever since. I don't know what they did to the rest, but I heard screams that it chill your blood. But hey, less people, bigger share, right? <laughs> so, what do you say we go looking together? Can't we go faster? These caves are filled with orbs. Ha! 
silver key chest. We'll never get that opened. Where to put it, so you can carry the gold for now. Want my share as soon as we're out of here, though.
Oh! into those caves in the first place. Well, I'm not standing for it much longer. First chance I'll get, I'm out of here. I'll have to pick up a few things first, though. I suppose you want your reward. Don't tell her what I said, though. Come on. Just up the hill. We made it! 
are demanding protection money from the traders' union and took three hostages to show they mean business. The union's refusing to pay up, even though today is the last day. They called me because I owed them a favour, but, well... I just got out of guard college last week and I only got to see Midas in hostage recovery. Know what? I'll tell you where they are and leave you to it. Let me see. Uh, oh, yes, now, there's uh, there's one's down the hill and uh, there's two more on the other side of them big gates. All clear? Right. I'm going to make a tactical withdrawal before they see me. <laughs> right. Uh, good luck.
Oh, you scorn oh. damn minute, you. You thinking of freeing them? <coughs> are a vicious bunch. You have to get me out. Get with the f with ya.
here now, or what? I suppose we should thank you. you. Took your precious toy. We can't stand here all day talk. With ya. yourself for the pain. Counter my wares if I ever see you again. Oh, go! Need someone to watch your back? You should speak to Maze. He's waiting for you in his...
axes, shields. He don't look like too big a deal. to serve you. in his quarters of the guild. He'd like to see you there. Oh, oh, hello, sire. I'm pleased to serve you. Ah, yes. Maze is in his quarters of the guild. He'd like to see you there. at Lookout Point when he found these, these strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Remember, the witch in Bowerstone Key is the only one who can cure him. an irritating young lady, the one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, uh, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms, and I can brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> the little tyke's probably having the time of his life.
Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it, and you are not bright enough. You have yourself a nice day. Hi, look, could you do me a massive favour? My name's Cyril. Me and some friends had a little party here the other night, and I met this drop-dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. I mean, she was a stunner. At least I think she was. But I also thought the trees around us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well, probably. I mean, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Even if she isn't, what if she doesn't like me? I'm going to take my chances all the same. Please, take this letter to her in Oakvale. I must know how she feels. The suspense is killing me. Oh, one more thing. Don't try to pass the letter off as your own. I've spent weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Need a good sword to fight beside you? I met this man at a party in the Guild Woods who says I am. I think... I think he might be in love with me. You haven't spoken to him, have you? Oh, is this... is this from you? I don't believe it. He really does love me. He says my eyes are like two glowing suns. I have to let him know I feel the same. Please, could you take this to him? Oh, I can't wait to tell Fiona about this. She really likes me. Oh, and I bet she's really beautiful. Have this for your trouble. I have no more need for intoxicants, for I have found love.
You have yourself a nice... someone to take me to Orchard Farm. I'll pay you if you helps me. It can be dangerous for traders round here. Here's the deal, see? You get a quarter of the fee now, and the rest when we get there in one piece. Just talk to me again if you decide to... Looking man. Look, I ate the mushroom in it. They all said I'd laugh my knickers off if I ate it, and I like totally did, and like I'm not. So far, it's a big zero of chuckles. Can you make me laugh? Come on, like in it, please. <laughs> I hear how that dances. What clown? Do another one. Another one. Hey! <laughs> that was hilarious! Hey! Oh, he's just... <laughs> already. <laughs> Mind like a sieve, I tell you. I'll hang on to these mushrooms if it's all the same to you. I'll just, um, uh, uh put them somewhere safe. <laughs> yes. Uh, bye now. old woman really helped us. I'll never join another witch-burning mob after this. We won't forget your kindness, hero. Good luck with your quests. Hooray! Hooray! I heard you. Yourself, won't you?
Chaser. Woohoo! starting to ask when they'll see you in the arena out in Witchwood. But before you go wandering again, I've left a quest card of my own. A favor, if you will. An old friend of mine has gone missing. Calls himself the archaeologist. He may have stumbled onto something big, perhaps big enough to put his life in danger. There's a rumor that he may be hiding somewhere in Witchwood. That is, if he isn't dead already. You can use a Cullis Gate to get there. I only hope it isn't too late. Still here? Go and You've see. received a new quest card. Chaser. Witchwood's getting as dangerous as the arena on the other side of it. <laughs> Keep practicing. Hey! Hey. Hey, good looking. Hey. I'm starting to find you strangely attractive. Wow. Meet the archaeologist. Supposed to give spiritual strength. Be warned. Some gods can be fickle. Thank you. 
I only open to those who know my name. If you quit, find and hit the magic stones to spell it out. Only one person knows my name, but I doubt you'll find him even at the Temple of Ava. My name, big deal. In you go. So, you found me. That's just grand. If you can find me, so can they. I should never have started studying the focus sites. But how was I to know Jack was interested in them, too? Yes, Jack of Blades. Look, I have no time to explain. You can read my journal if you want. I don't want it any more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. It's not safe for me here any more, thanks to you. Sir, Sir, the archaeologist is alive. Hmm, that's good. Thanks to you, I'm sure we can keep him safe. Uh, you should return to the guild now. There's an important quest card waiting for you. It seems Nothole Glaive is in some trouble. Check the guild for more quests. terrorizing Knothole Glade. Yeah. <laughs> 
even a baby hop to bother us. Watch out for snip. If you find any troublemakers round... Watch out for... Please come and help my wife. She's trapped by a balverine. Quick! She's just down here. Follow me! Why not go help him? I wonder what he wants. Make me do it! fight beside you. Good day. 
you, hero. If you need someone to f Excellent. There is true honor in work. When you're done with my services, just talk to me again. You make a fine leader. Welcome to the Temple of Light. Your reward will be slight. Returning devotees will receive the gifts of the heavens. So, have you heard the legend of this sword? A knight of the old kingdom called Hugh wielded a sword like no other. He was a giant. The sword cut through monsters, people and demons, like parchment. It possessed power, power that mortals could not control. Dying, Hugh thrust it into the living rock from which it could never be removed. Legend says that only somebody as strong as Hugh the giant can remove it. Perhaps it's just an old wives tale. Perhaps it's a fake. Wow! Wow! Go on, you can do it. <laughs> Unlucky hero, maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you need fresh air and exercise. That sword looks really impressive. It's an honor to fight beside such a fearless hero. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right behind you. Wolverines. In all my years as chief, I've never seen anything like it. We might have had a chance, but these damn things follow a white Balverine. It comes into our village and kills whoever it wants. I can hear something now. It must be attacking the warehouses at the bottom of that hill. is too tough, even for you. We had a great hunter in Knothole Glade once. He died fighting the last white Balverine. His wife still lives in one of the houses up at the top of the hill. If anyone knows how to hurt that bloody thing, it'll be her. Oh, yes! Wow! Get ready. This looks nasty. It must have been an animal. You need to go and talk to the... Oh, yes! Hail, O oh hero bold! I am, you see, a famous bard. I sing you songs, you give me gold. It really isn't very hard. Well, that's your... You have taken the right path in life, hero. I see something. Damn 
something was just waiting for you. How could it know where we were going? He was here again, wasn't he? I didn't want to hurt him. But this time, he's gone too far. What the blazes are you talking about? The White Balverine. It's my husband. Or it was, once. He was bitten by the Balverine he killed. And slowly, he turned into the creature he hunted for so long. For a while, he could control himself. But anything that was left of my husband is dead now. That's the town horn. It must be attacking again. My husband used silver weapons to hunt the last white balverine. Please take this. End his pain. Oh, yes. Balverine will think twice before attacking us again. We've got it on the run! We can hurt it! We can kill it! Folks say it lives by Witchwood Lake. Come back with its pelt and I'll reward you. Leave the way!
So you're back. And in one piece. We heard the howling and feared the worst. But it looks like you triumphed over the beast. A hero of your stature deserves the glory of fighting in the arena. Your nomination should be waiting for you when you return to the guild. Oh, and speaking of the guild, they sent this letter for you from your sister. I hope it's good news. It's an honour to fight beside such a fearless hero. I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You do the Enjoy the rest of the day, sir. I'm late. Following! I'm pleased to serve you. Nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Give me some beer. Ready to help? to its knees. Briar Rose? <laughs> no, no. You want to be like Whisper. Lead the way. That lady from Orchard Farm told her that another hero beat Whisper right in front well, of her. Well, well. Look who it is. Come to play with the other children, have you? Shame Whisper has such a soft spot for you. She should have taught you a lesson in Orchard Farm. But she'll learn. I only hope you both end up in the arena one day. Then we'll see who the greater hero is. But I've wasted enough time talking. The Guildmaster needs me back at the Guild. He can't entrust important quests to novices like you.
Take the arena quest card. to serve you. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history. They want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, 
It's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, chameleon. You've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This will be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins your prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blakes himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there. Use your skills well. Make sure the crowd enjoys it. And if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You killed the legendary White Calvary. The arena is the place for you. Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. First thing fighters learn here. Buy potions. Lots of them. Right stuff! Back for more advice? All right. Always make sure if they like you, they might throw you a few goodies. Only two heroes have beaten the arena without taking a break. Thunder and Jack of Blades. They could have bought most of Albion with the gold they got for that. They could have bought all the women too. <laughs> Look, you'll have to wait your turn. Look, you'll have... Always be ready for a few surprises. Shadow has fought here a few times. Perhaps he can help you out. I got the door leading out of the arena. Do you want to stay in? You haven't even fought in the arena yet. Surely you want to stay. That's the spirit. Get back in there and finish the arena battles. Uh, buzz. Buzz. 
Bars. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Bars. <laughs> Funny. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Reaper. Famous for such quests as Ultra Sword and defeating ex-hero Twinblade. Like our other brave challengers, this supplement coming hopeful has an eye on the
change to the hero lineup. It's the Tester of Arena Legends Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valerines? Three, two. This is the life. One.
these things.
must kill this one. A cool 3,000 more gold for that. They bagged 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. Intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hogs, Valvoline, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty first trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Three, two, one.
dying for another 10,000. Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of
proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight, but I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. since training. Someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Rogue. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all 
only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. Your sister is waiting to meet you at the Grey House, near Barrow Field. Maybe I should throw myself into the sea, my poor, sweet Amanda. How could illness take you from me? I'm sorry, did you say something? Life is pointless, pointless. Pointless. again. Another bony adventurer seeking to plunder my riches. I'm not interested in your meager frame. Get some meat on you. I want beefy. Stop being a slave to pub pies. Meat eat yourself large. Hmm. Maybe I should throw myself into the...
You have yourself a nice day. What a man. Fair play to you, Reaper. Somewhere up ahead. Follow me. I think he's somewhere up here. He's deeper into the forest. I'm too scared to know him. I hear pain you back to my brother. You must have seen him. This is... Ah. 
this. You might make sense of it. yourself a nice day. Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. district and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside her mansion. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. And 
you allow the powerful whisper to live? Oh, that's beautiful. I knew you'd have a romantic soul, not like some heroes. Of course, a woman in my position can't marry into poverty. The very least one can expect is that a man will have his own house. I'm so pleased to hear you have a house. I wouldn't want to think you wanted to marry for the money. Or would you do something heroic for me now? A while ago, I lost a necklace. It is most precious to me. Perhaps you could investigate round town. Someone must know its whereabouts. Have a pleasant visit, sir. Steer clear of the holding cell. We've got a real nutcase in there. Sword to fight beside you. So let's go over it one more time. I've buried it between the two boats on the beach. Oh, a nice little spot. Right, we'll lie low for a few days to avoid detection by the Barrowstone guards. What if someone finds it in that time? <laughs> no one will think of looking for it there. You'd better be right. Beside you. Say the name Whisper. Very 
Have a nice visit. A real wow. Never see it again. You continue to prove yourself a most deserving suitor. But you are not the only arena winner who seeks my hand. No doubt you have heard of Thunder. It's quite bewildering to have two such fine suitors. Now, if you could prove yourself a better man than he, perhaps in a battle, things would certainly seem clearer. I'll be waiting for the winner in the gardens. Best of luck. Oh, hello again. You found her necklace. Now she wants you to prove your might somehow, doesn't she? This is where so many fail to win her hand. Some through humiliation, others through death. Well, good luck. Bowerstone Jail is just through the archway by the cell. Great, it is. Nice. The hero. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards, controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy. Usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. They don't want you to know the truth. <laughs> So, you think you can beat me, farm boy? You think your victory in the arena makes you worthy? The lady is mine. Meet me at the executioner's block on the hill. I can think of no better place to kill you.
just can. Can you see them? Are they still alive? You'll fight bravely, but Lady Grey is mine, and I won't give her up. where it ends. Whisper chooses our friends well. No one has defeated me before, and now the lady is yours. <sighs> Leave me alone now. what happened. No one could have proven themselves worthier than you. I'm so happy. I must make the arrangements for the wedding at once. And if you so much as look at another woman before then, I shall have her pretty head chopped off. Welcome, hero. And so the hero married.
and for one day at least, the troubles of a hard world were put aside. Hello there, husband. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the Guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Check the guild for more quests.
So you're the hero they sent, eh? Well, I've got a new job for you. These bloody villagers are holding our boss and they plan to hang him. So I want you to take a message to their chief. You tell him we'll raise his precious town to the ground if he doesn't hand our boss back. Got that? Well, run along then. We haven't got all day. He's plundered this village for far too long. We've got him under guard up the hill by the tavern, and that's where he's staying. So you'll just have to go back out there and get rid of the scum's bandit friends. Talk to the guard over there when you're ready, and he'll open the gates for you. As for me, I'm off back to my hut. Good luck! work. Those bandits won't be back in a hurry. Oh, yes! Seeking 
seeking revenge for his humiliating defeat. He has hired a band of highly skilled assassins to kill you. Watch out for surprise attacks. Your prowess as an archer is impressive, hero. You should try your skill at the... archaeologist and took him up the hill there. I don't know what they're planning to do with him, but I bet it ain't gonna be pretty. You've got to rescue him. Quick, there isn't much time. I'm right behind you. I've never seen anything like it. These things Follow him! The minion summoner has erected the barrier. I've got Need your back!
crew to save the archaeologist. Summon a rock troll. How are we going to defeat that? Cavalry hunters are my happy arms getting twenty. Let's get them. Let's get them. some healing. Could you some help here? Hurry, they've almost reached the boat. You're running out of time.
it then. I'd still be safely in my cave if it wasn't for you. Yes, yes, I know the way into Bargate Prison. I know everything, don't I? That's why I'm as good as dead if they find me again. Anyway, there's an ancient route into the prison through the Litchfield Graveyard. It hasn't been opened in centuries, but you'll have to figure that one out for yourself. I'm not sticking around here. I still know a few good hiding places. A new quest card. Check the guild for more quests. offer for you, sir. Enjoy yourself, won't you? Wow! Well, 
look who it is. We better get moving now you're finally here. The executioner don't like to be kept waiting. Oh no. Keep your eyes peeled. This scum's bandit friends might try and free him on the way up the hill. Wouldn't be the first time, I can tell you. Oh yeah, and don't get no funny ideas. The only one who's going to be slicing this man's head off is the executioner himself. Hey Monty, I've got a good feeling about getting this one axed today. You reckon? Don't know. Last few tries was a mess. Took a day to clean up all the body parts. True, true. But then the guards on this job last time didn't have a hero at their side. Now did they? Scorm's teeth! Bandit! Protect the prisoner! Alright, we aren't moving without you at our side. Stick close. Reckon there'll be a few of them in that house over there. <laughs> a few? There'll be an army pig. Get ready to squeal. He's a cocky bugger, ain't he? You'd think imminent beheading would humble a man. Don't just stand there. Fight! <laughs> I bet there's a few of them in that old windmill, too. Damn it! Are you pretending I like the windmill? Never did anyone any harm. Might do in it. All right, let's go. There'll be an audience gathering up at the tree. You can be sure of that. For now, Monty, but my guts tell me we're not done yet. Oh, I wish your guts would shut the hell up. Take they just won't give up, will they? <laughs> for freedom!
thought I needed some help, did they? What do they think, that I'm some sort of damsel in distress? Well, you might as well make yourself useful now you're here. I've been studying an ancient shrine we found buried in the swamp, but the whole area just got busy with minions. Looks like they're using it for some kind of whacked-out ceremony, whatever it is. It can't be good news. Help me get rid of the ones guarding the shrine, and maybe I can get close enough to disable it.
Sealing the portal and making sure that thing never appears. But the invocation was written in Old Kingdom speak, so this could take a while. And it looks like we have company. Keep those minions away from me while I recite the incantation. Restinio, Lamadin, Luhink, and Fairy and Embos.
You have a whole set? That must be worth a bleeding fortune. Better hide it to make sure no one else steals it. Don't worry, I've got it stashed all over the yard. No one's going to find it. Not even them undead what's wandering around. Only thing I didn't manage to hide before they turned up was the helmet. It'll be all right here for now, and I'll keep them gates locked till I can sell the nut. Shh, what was that? Someone's out there. I better go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get out of my house, you bloody peasants. All right, I'm leaving. I just needed somewhere to sleep. Hello. Uh, guild business, is it, eh? Hey? Hmm? You want to go through them old kingdom gates? I tell you, they ain't been open for generations. They say that only Nostro the gatekeeper could open them. But old Nostro died a couple of hundred years ago, and now the secret's buried with him in his crypt. I suppose you'll be wanting access to the graveyard. Hmm. Well... Let's go. <gasps> Nostro's crypt is on the far side of the graveyard, over the river and up the hill. Look, the undead are rising again, I told you.
shield. Gather for me in the path I shall yield.
You've received a new quest card. Check the guild for more quests.
Again, and I'll wring your neck. Wait, I know you. No, it's a trick. You're not my son. The bastard's playing with my head. But it, it really is you, isn't it? What the hell were you thinking coming here? Don't you see he'll take us both? Never mind. We've got to get out of here. Get this damn cage open. the hero, dear Scarlet. Did you know he's been crowned Arena Champion? You would have been so proud of him. 
it must run in the family. That I'm getting locked up in one of my charming little cells. You disgusting freak. Let him go. He doesn't know anything. Oh, I think you'll find he knows a great deal. You see, the arena seal I gave him has been showing me his every movement. It has been most entertaining. Yes, it appears your darling little daughter is alive too. She's told him all about the sword and that wretched bloodline of yours. And now, my sweet, you're going to tell me where the key is. scum later. Then we'll have a bit of fun. He'll enjoy it, won't he, Tibbs? Go to hell, pig. Temper, Tibbs, temper. You should keep all that energy for later. You'll need it then. <laughs> oh, and don't try any of that funny Will stuff. It won't work in here. The boss made sure of that. Yeah. I guess you're the one they've been hot cloakering all this time. <laughs> I could hear you squealing all the way down here, mate. Nothing to be ashamed of. I know their pain here. Wait a minute, I know who you are. You're that Reaper, aren't you? Beat the arena and let the big prize go to save pretty little Whisper, didn't you? Oh, we don't get your kind in here often. What'd you do? Kill a mare? Slice up some pigs. Bet the warden can't believe his damn luck. It's his birthday today, you know. The vicious bastard. Every year, he has us dragged out of our cells, shows us a little sunshine so we know what we're missing, and sticks us back in. Doesn't do it out of the kindness of his heart, either. They race us round the courtyard and take bets on who will win. Then the winner... It's a trip to the warden's office and, well, what goes on in there is too cruel to mention. Still, at least you get a good look at his place, and there's more than books and furniture in there. Look lively, scum. Time to move out. It's race time, and you'd better put on a good show. Some of us have bet a lot of money on you. Win, and we like you. Lose, and you get a round in the torture chamber. That sounds fun. Yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. Right, you miserable sods. I want to see a dirty race. Plenty of pushing and shoving. You hear me? Now, get into positions. Three, two, one. Get him. He's in the lead. Let's catch up. <laughs> Call that running, you snail. That way, you useless filth. Move it, move it, move it! Get your finger out, pushbag! That way, you great big baldrin turd! Move it, move it, move it! That way, you great big baldrin turd! That way, you useless filth! Get your finger out, pushbag! Bravo! We have a winner. Guards, escort him to my office. 
Welcome to my modest quarters. You have earned yourself a singular reward, one of my world-famous poetry readings. <laughs> yes, that's right. These stone walls cannot still the beating heart of a poet. I don't want to hear one sound from you. Pouring forth one's soul requires the utmost concentration. The recital will begin anon. Remember, I require total silence. <coughs> the course... Behold, the ball, the spirited sparrow, as it doth fly above our dreary jail. None can harm it, not even an arrow. And should you try, you would surely fail. Its tail does pour forth from its beak. It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the arts. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. Welcome to your temporary home. The torture chamber. You're have some fun with you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to enjoy this. The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. And it consumed his life too. Another year would pass by in this prison. Another year of torture. The ancient noble blood in his veins, the power of the guild, none of it meant a thing inside these walls. And all this time, Jack of Blades was free to roam Albion. The hero would not be beaten, he would be free. It's a special day today. You'll find out soon enough. Let's bung him in the holding cells with the others. Well, 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 here we are again, eh? Stay in there, and I'll get to you in a moment. You might have noticed there's a few less of you this year. <laughs> I wonder what happened to them, eh? Oh. You survived. Another year, another race. But we gotta get into the warden's office. We gotta get that key. Look lively, scum. Time to move out. It's race time, and you'd better put on a good show. Some of us have bet a lot of money on you. Win, and we like you. Lose, and you get a round in the torture chamber. That sounds fun. Yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. All right. You know the drill. Now, get into positions. Three, two, one. Full speed ahead. Snail! Get a move on, you ugly maggot! Get your finger out, puss bag! Way. 
you useless bill. Get your finger out, puss bag. Faster! Faster! <laughs> Call that running, you snail! Get a move on, you ugly maggot! You again? You really are quite the athlete, aren't you? I look forward to another meeting of the minds in my office. Guards! The recital will begin anon. Remember, I require total silence! <clears throat> Grey is the prettiest color. Oh, Grey is the prettiest color. For it's in her name, her eyes, and her soul. She makes me feel ten feet taller. To see her is to lose control. She lives in the north side among rainbows. And I look at her from dead, scummy slums. It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the arts. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. It seems the warden has lost his key. We'll keep you in the holding cells until it turns up. Torture will be delayed. To the courtyard. I can't believe it! You're a pal! Go to the courtyard. I'll help distract the guards. You ready? Go on, let me out! I don't want to die in here. Let me out. Go on. Come here, you rat!
time to get revenge. Quick, the lever. Use it to open these bars. Let's go. Let's go.
Revenge burned like a sun within the hero, and his destiny was clear. Jack had cast a shadow over the whole of his life. He had been the architect of his sister's blind suffering, and of his mother's imprisonment. And soon his power would be absolute. pretty well back there, but there's still so much to do. Jack is getting closer to the sword. I can feel it. He needs a key to unlock the sword from its hiding place, and now he knows where it is. The key is in Hook Coast, hidden in the ruins of an old abbey. You have to get to it first. We have one advantage. He doesn't know the key will only make itself known to one of our bloodline. That's why we have to find your sister. As long as she's out there, Jack could use her. You should go to Darkwood and investigate the portal. There must be some way of activating it. It's the only way to get to Hook Coast. First, I have a gift for you. There's power in your blood that hasn't been tapped yet. Feels good, doesn't it? From now on, I will be able to talk to you through your guild seal. Now go. I will try to find Teresa. Your guild seal has been reactivated. Welcome back. Check the guild for more quests. Accuracy allows you to cause more damage in ranged combat and make your shots more precise. Guile increases your stealth and improves your trading skills.
you're here. The bandit gang you're looking for have taken hostages. They ran into Greatwood. Maybe you can catch them. Good luck. I'll wait here and send more help if I can. Fellow keeps threatening me. Do something. Come on, do your worst. You're no match for me and my gang. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, hero. But the bandit leader and his deputy still have my sister. I overheard the bandits say they were taking her through Greatwood Lake. Hit that way to catch them. I'm going back to Bowerstone where it's safe.
leader has another hostage somewhere in Greatwood Lake. Not that you'll defeat me. Watch this! Chance of the broad gates.
to get to the Kalis Gate in the middle of Darkwood. The gate will only open when its hunger for undead souls is set. Mm. That 
magical barrier wasn't there before. It explains what I just found in the guild. Meet me in Maze's quarters. I found a book that may help. sword and the existence of a key to unlock it. Jack can never be allowed to succeed. You must stop him getting the key from Hook Coast. There is a quest card for you, but if you choose to take it, you will forsake your other tasks. This is too important. Good. Now quickly, give me the Thaumaturgica. When you approach the barrier to Hook Coast Abbey, I shall contact you on your guild seal. If I read from the correct passage, it should disable the barrier. Now go. Ow! Oh, you've received a new quest card. Nice to see you, hero.
to Jack now. But never mind. <laughs> but never mind. I'll do it now. I should have killed you then. But never mind. I'll...
we don't all embrace death easily. For some of us, the quest, the only quest, is to escape death. Whatever the cost. And it looks like I failed. See you at the guild. You're back. Things are far worse than I'd feared. Mace's betrayal surprised us all, but we have larger problems. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. You must stop him at all costs. I will explain more over your guild seal. Now, step through the Cullis Gate. You've received a new quest card. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on. Follow the path and turn right.
This is not the place. But we have a lot of business, farm boy. I killed many of those creatures, but I can't go on much longer. Jack is performing some kind of ritual in the center of the cavern. I'll help you get there. I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, that will help us all. Stop him, lad. For all our sakes, stop him.
And now comes the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. The hero had triumphed over Jack of Blades and forsaken the dark power of the sword. When he stepped outside into daylight, the crowds cheered his name. He walked among them as a legend. As the months passed, the guild and its people would recover. Walls would be rebuilt and order restored. For Teresa, it would not be so easy. She retreated to distant lands where a lifetime of wounds might be allowed to heal. A whole year passed. With Jack gone, Albion returned to something approaching peace, and for once, the greatest of all heroes was able to rest. Hero, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Sai, one of our oldest heroes. He left the guild for the northern wastes long ago, but now... Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. Sure, my son is unharmed. Who oh, I must lie down now in my heart. This is all too much. Hey, over here. So, you're off to free my little brother, are you? That's just lovely. Lovely. Well, you know, my father is a stupid old man. 
Can you believe he's talking of making the brat the next chief around here? We can't let that happen, my friend. It will be the end of this town. If you want to make some serious gold, bring the boy to me. I'll be waiting for you on the secluded path on the opposite side to the demon door. into everything, don't you? Well, as long as you've got the gold, the boss won't mind. Go right in. Don't get any bright ideas, though. We'll be waiting right here. <sighs> Should have known the chief had sent some hero dog to do his dirty work. You'd better have the gold. Any of your guild puppet heroics and there's gonna be bits of kid all over the walls. Much obliged, sir. Now take the dumb kid and get out of here! Is this a trick?
wish I could get kidnapped every day. It's so much fun! <laughs> Father says there's a demon who sells doors down there. I think that's what he said. Good to see you.
Oh, my dear boy, you're safe. I was so worried. It was brilliant, Father. I was in this cave, and there were all these bandits with these big swords, and then... Stop, stop! It all sounds so horrible. You're never leaving my sight again. Oh, Father, you never let me do anything fun. Can I at least get a pet balverine, please? A balverine? Of all helpers. We'll talk about it later. Once again, our town thanks you. I just hope I never have to call on your services again. It's a terrible strain on my nerves. I hope you can come and kill bandits every day. What? My son did what? Demondora awoke this morning, but none of us could get through. It says we're not worthy. It is up to you, hero. Have you defeated Jack single-handedly? The man's got a point. I'll stick to my speciality and hit the books. We need to know what these summoners are. Good luck. this primal demon door, charged with guarding the Fireheart. The heart is a powerful relic used to summon ships that have long ceased to be. It allowed the kingdom to reach any part of the world, no matter how remote or hidden. Its rightful place is in the lighthouse in Hook Coast. If you could place it there once more, it will call forth a vessel to carry you to the northern wastes. The prophets of the Fireheart wait for you behind the... We are the prophets of the Fireheart. It was your destiny to seek us out, hero. The beast arises in the frozen north. Only he who claims the heart can stop it. Its mystical powers will guide you across the sea. There you must face a force of such evil. Not even death can silence its fury. Oh, for crying out loud, just tell him to get us out of here. Yes, yes, we were coming to that. To obtain the Fireheart, you must solve the mystery of day and night. And we'll finally be free. Witness the board before you. 
Each time you turn all the moons into suns, you'll release one of us from our perpetual prison. But fill the board with moons and one of us will perish, and the Fireheart will never be yours. What? I thought you said he'd get it even if he gets us all killed. I heard you. To quiet you, imbecile! Look, it's very simple. Solve the damn puzzle. You get the heart, we get out of this hole. Everyone's happy. All right? is so beautiful. M Mother, I'm coming. <coughs> Excellent! Just free me next, and you can do what you like. That's the one. Now keep going. postcard sometime. Profits were a barrel of laughs too. You always get to do the fun stuff. Well, I've been looking into these summoner creatures and I'm starting to think throwing away the Sword of Eons wasn't the best idea after all. These things are bad. Too late to do anything now though. Hmm, perhaps not. Well, it's only an old legend, but for centuries there have been tales of a powerful weapon hidden in the guild and imbued with the essence of all the heroes buried there. But the only one who's shown any real interest in it lately is Maze. He was obsessed with finding it. We know why now, of course. Perhaps you can find whatever he discovered in his old quarters. 
But don't forget, it is vital that you place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Its power will summon the ship to take you to the northern wastes. Good luck once more, hero. You must place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. I've been expecting you. And as you can see, the town's been evacuated, just like the Guildmaster asked. Must be something serious, eh? Well, it wasn't easy getting everyone out on such short notice. But us guards know our duty. Well, I could tell you some stories I could. But uh, you probably don't want to hear them right now. I'll just leave it to you, sir. Good day. energy reaches full power. When you get to the Northern Wastes, your Guild Seal will activate the local teleporters, and I'll be able to join you. Scythe would have done it long ago, but he destroyed his seal before he arrived. Didn't want Maze to know what he was up to, I guess. Well, have a nice trip. Maybe when I see you next, we can have a snowball fight. The strange, silent ship set sail into the featureless swell. Day after day, it carved its path among the waves, an ocean phantom moving ever forward. Then the moment came when icy peaks speared out of the horizon mist. These were the shores of the Lost Bay. 
The northern wastes lay beyond them. I'm going to have a look around after speaking to Sai. Catch you later.
Seal set the local ones off. I've managed to get a good look around, and this pile of stones might be worth investigating. See all those inscriptions? I'm heading back to the guild to work on the translations. You should carry on to Snowspire and speak with Scythe. He's waiting for you. Catch you later!
have reached Hook Coast. Then there is less time than I thought, and I have much to tell you. I arrived here many years ago, when the Guild believed Jack of Blades would use the Snowspire Oracle in his search for the sword. Now it is you who is it. To speak with it, we will need the glyphs of inquiry. They were hidden in the Age of Arkham. I will send word to the Necropolis Guards to grant you passage. The Snowspire villagers refuse to leave the city walls while summoners roam free. They fear the Bronze Gate close to Archon Shrine will open and bring about the apocalypse. So I told us to let you in. Well, I guess you better shine through. Yeah, nice try, Mungo. It's your turn, and you know it. Ah, oh, nuts. All right then, follow me. Right, that's as far as I'm going. This place ain't safe, you know. The old town's full of ghosts. Folks say the poor beggars don't even realise they're dead. Anyway. Take care of looking for them, um, glyphs, they're called, right? You're not the first one that's come rummaging for pieces of carved stone, you know. The others found more than they bargained for, though. Rotting corpses, a lot of them now. Anyway, have a nice day.
places in this land. Still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the bronze gate, and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the King of the Arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild and they say he's a knothole glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I'd better start researching the second inscription. Yes, little hero, I'm back. And our business is not quite finished. You destroyed my sword, remember? Have you any idea how many centuries I spent looking for it? But its work is done. Soon I will have power beyond your imagining. And you will be the first to die. I won't tell you again. We don't need a hero. For the first time in years, we aren't being attacked, sieged, or kidnapped by anything. Now leave us alone! You... Your said you would come. I will tell you what I know. If it will get you out of my sight. We were both once called Kings of the Arena. But there have been many heroes in the past who have claimed that name. You should search in the bloody dust of the arena itself. They say the souls of past champions haunt it, resting in the place of their greatest achievement. Now go, unless you're here to take my soul. I'm sure your lady would enjoy that. Why go all the way to the arena? You have a perfectly good soul right in front of you.
all dead creatures killed every appeared in the cells and started killing everyone. Afraid to fight another hero, were you? Very well. I have prepared some entertainment for you inside. Men, all the way from sunny 
commoners pummeling a trip from the hill. Oh, Empress. See if it works. I hope this thing works. We need to release the soul from the mask, and, and well, your guess is as good as mine. It's, like it. it's like it's using the soul to power itself. Anyway. We figured out the second inscription. It says, the heroine. I can't think of anyone who fits the description better than Scarlet Robe, your mother. There's always me, of course, but as you can see, I'm still alive. And I plan to stay that way. You'll have to pay her tomb in Oakvale another visit. I know this won't be easy, but Scarlet was always one to make sacrifices, remember? offer for you, sir. Did you know the Oracle is awake again? I never thought I'd live to see it. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of screaming. <laughs> Good day, hero. Excellent. There is you make a fine leader. Yeah! to leave. And now they will try to take you, too.
I sense how he fears you. Take my soul and avenge our family once and for all. And make him pay, son. Come back to the shrine and I'll show you. I hope the Guild Acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the Guild and speak with them. Oh, welcome back, sir. This place is for a message you left. People running around with bits of old paper, books flying everywhere. And a guild master's only gone and holed himself up in the guild woods. We're not supposed to let anyone near him. We found it. The soul mentioned in the inscription. It must be Nostro. His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries. Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison. Catching souls? Never heard such nonsense. Well, good luck, hero. Sorted, right? I didn't join the 5th Regiment so I could stand around guarding graves all day. Oh no, sir. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
guildsmen, we meet once more. You reclaimed my weapons and armor and brought me peace. Now, I offer my soul in return. But I am Nostro, and mine is a warrior's soul. You must take it in battle so that I may stand proud among my comrades in the afterlife. My men have sworn an oath to protect me even in death. Only when they fall can I be harmed. Now, claim my soul with honor.
It was a battle that would be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oak Vale slew the dragon, Jack of Blades. The day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time.